Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Tom. And this is The Park Bench. And this is Storytime with Matt. So, the last video, we mentioned that we were filming on a GoPro rather than the usual camera. And you may have thought that that was because we were showing you the GoPro. That isn't the only <laughs> reason. Because my camera is not in a working state right now. It's, it's close. <laughs> Almost all of the camera works. Apart from a tiny, tiny little very essential bit. Do you have the camera with you? No. Well, <laughs> screw this Because I don't want to t lose the tiny, tiny, oh, very yeah, essential little bit, as I have done once before. Yes. Segway! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, where were we? We were in the US, in Washington, D.C., at the Udvar Hazy Center. The Udvar Hazy Center, the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum Annex. Yes, which you have issues with. Uh, yes, it, it is the big museum on the outskirts of Washington, D.C., right next to the airport. It's a warehouse with a load of stuff in it, and some of that stuff is a space shuttle. Yes, and a Concorde. And a Concorde, and... Enormous amounts, enormous amounts of aviation space history. Genuinely, really, really interesting stuff. And I was very excited to go there. I'd been to the one in the middle of town and that had a space lab or sky lab? I can't remember. Sky lab. It had a sky lab, one that didn't fly, but it was standing there and you could walk inside it. Yep. In the crew quarters. It, and it, yep. And there was Apollo 11's descent capsule just sitting there. When I went there last time, it was under, under plastic. This was just... Yeah, the Columbia there. command module just, yes. just just sat there on a plinth yep. with a barrier around it. Yep. I could have reached over the barrier and touched it. I didn't. You didn't. I, I lay on the ground so then I could look at the heat <laughs> shield underneath it. I think there's a photo of that. Yep. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of good photos of you in various in various museums. Yes. But you uh, have an issue with the Udvar Hazy Centre. It's amazing. They have all this amazing stuff. They've got Gemini capsules, they've got Mercury capsules. I'm a space buff. You've probably worked this out if you follow my Twitter. And the shuttle, it's amazing. The one of the best things about the shuttle is it's so big. The Concorde, expertly designed so then it could fly really, really fast. Yes. Um, and because it has to do that, it's really small, it's really thin, it's really aerodynamic. It flies at what? 600 miles an hour? A lot of miles More. per hour. 900 miles an hour. Yeah. You know, maybe around 1,000 miles an hour is what it yeah. flies at. The Space Shuttle is like three times its size and flies at 17,000 miles an hour. Yes. I, I can enthuse all day. So they've got this big thing in a warehouse. And they have put stuff in front of it at all angles. There is one place where you can see the entire thing, and that's from the nose, and you can, you know, just see the nose and the wings. Photo. Um... But around the side, they've got like a display cabinet with stuff in it. Underneath its wings, they've plunked a, uh, one of the Canadarms, which, cool, yes, I want to see that. But I also would like to see the shuttle in one go. You can't get a, a cool picture of the shuttle. You can't take it all in in one go if it's obstructed. Yeah. Um, and we've got stuff all around it. And then they've got a balcony. So then you can look down on it, on this huge object. And they have stuff in the way, so you can't see it. Another photo. Um, yes, it was a bit disappointing. Like, I am I'm so glad I went there, and I'm very glad that I saw it, but the um, display tactics in use did annoy me somewhat. Um, but I'm glad I got to see it. The, the, the Concorde, you can't even stand at the very front of it because they've got an eight-foot-high like notice board kind of yes. thing. Yes, yes, they have. Like, <laughs> okay, it's a warehouse, and y you, have to tr you want to show as many objects as you've got in one go, so then you get your yeah. money's worth. But when there's an end of the warehouse that's a bit empty and it's just got some normal planes in it... <laughs> I bless you. Uh, <laughs> Sorry about that. He, he kept going and then I had a sneezing fit. So it wasn't deliberately to cut you off doing the same rant about the Udvar Hazy Centre several times. Uh, but it was a good sneeze. It was a good sneeze. <laughs> Either way, it was an enjoyable time. Yes. I was going around with my camera. I have a, a pocket camera. It's a good pocket camera. It's the Sony RX100, maybe the Mark II? I can't yeah. remember. Um, so I go around taking pictures with it. Um, I have to take loads of the shuttle, go around the back of the shuttle, and there is a space lab. It's the one that actually flew. Whichever and one it is. It's it, the one that goes in the payload bay of the shuttle. They sort of dock it and people can do science. It's, a, it's another room. It, it's like a conservatory. Uh, <laughs> so many words in there the Americans won't get. Carry on. Really? Yeah. Okay. Um, either way, there's this big space thing that has flown in space many times and did lots of science and it's just plonked there. It's cool. Uh, you look at it, you can look inside it almost if you tiptoe. Mm. Um, I'll take a picture of it. 
And as I re- Can you hold the mic? Yep. Um, let go of that, hold that. There we go. Uh, so I'm taking a picture of it, yep. and as I um, release my finger from the shutter, the little button that is the shutter release trigger jumps off. All right, huh? And I hear it roll away. It's just a tiny, tiny, like, I don't know, seven mil wide bit of plastic with a, that's like three mil thick. It's tiny. And it just rolls off. And I can hear it. I'm like, where is it? Then I spot it. It's under Space Lab. And I, while I could see it, and I knew I could get it without touching Space Lab, I would have to go inside its enclosure. Now, you'll be glad to hear I got a photo of that because Matt couldn't. Because his <laughs> trigger button is under Space Lab. And it, the button works with a little spigot that goes inside a very tiny hole that presses the actual button inside the camera. So I, couldn't, I can't use my camera. Yeah. Um, so, right. I'm clever enough to know that I shouldn't go in there. <laughs> so I went to find someone. The closest people I could find was on the other side of the shuttle, doing a take a photo of yourself in front of a green screen thing. Yep. Hello. <laughs> My camera's fallen apart and a tiny piece of it is underneath Space Lab. Uh, can I have it back, please? And he goes, oh, uh, no, I can't go in. No one can go in there. It's a federal offence. And, oh. How am I going to get my bit of camera back? <laughs> you can see it. You can get to it. Um, um, and he, he walked off. I'm like, okay. He's going to find someone. He comes back. Um, yeah, you'll need to find someone from security. Okay, thank you. Where? He went, um, <laughs> go down bloody, bloody, blah, that corridor. Okay. Walk through the museum. Find the corridor with the glass door, like you said. Looked like the kind of place I shouldn't be going, but hey, I wanted my camera back because it was under Space Lab. Uh, <laughs> I open the door, walking down the corridor, and then the security card comes out. He's holding someone else's camera. I went, hello. <laughs> uh, at the risk of sounding like a tourist, a bit of my camera is under Space Lab. Can I have it back, please? <laughs> and he said, yes, and I've got to deal with this first. And he had another tourist camera-related <laughs> query. <laughs> so I let him do that. He wandered over. We get there. Went, Where is it? And it's under that thing at the other end of the warehouse. Like, okay. And we get there. And it's like, right. What? What? What are we looking for? Like, it's a tiny, tiny bit of plastic. Can you see that tiny black dot on the ground there? He went, yeah, yeah. Can I have it? Can I have it, please? <laughs> he went, okay. You know, gingerly walks down, grabs it, and goes, there you go. Thank you very much. And he looks, looks confused and walks <laughs> off. And that is how I rescued a piece of camera from underneath Space Lab that actually flew in space. I got nothing. I said it was story time with Matt. I've got nothing. <laughs> yeah, uh, we normally use that camera to fill the park bench. I haven't got it repaired yet. I hope. Sony, if you're watching, <laughs> I didn't break it. I don't drop it. I keep it in a padded bag and then carry it around in my padded rucksack. I, I, I haven't dropped that camera. <laughs> But it stopped working. So if you're watching this, Sony, could you please fix it for free? I didn't do it. That, that's how that's brand deals work, isn't it? not how brand deals <laughs> work. <laughs> Guess where I've been? <laughs> you can always tell what country Tom's been to by where his bottle of water came from most recently. <laughs>